Welcome to AG Chelsea TV. In today's video we'll start with, Chelsea open talks over Hartman deal, Chelsea have faced a major setback in negotiations with left-back, who they initially wanted to replace Ben Chilwell. Chelsea are looking to replace Ben Chilwell in the upcoming transfer window, having grown tired of his lack of availability in recent seasons. Though Mauricio Pochettino has captained Chilwell on occasions when he has been available this season, the 27-year-old could be nearing the end of his time at the club due to injuries continuing to plague his career. As a result, Chelsea have started looking at alternative options, though once prospective deal is now in pieces after recent developments. According to Dutch publication 1908, Chelsea had open talks with Feyenoord over the possible signing of left-back Quilinchi Hartman, having been impressed with his performances in the Eredivisie. Reports even suggest that Hartman travelled to London to watch Chelsea lose 5-0 to Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium last week, with his representatives in contact with the club. Hartman is valued at £20 million by Transfermarkt, with his Feyenoord contract expiring in 2026, any possible deal will have to wait until the January transfer window, though. After Hartmann suffered a knee injury at the end of March against Utrecht that is set to keep him out for the remainder of the calendar year, the 22-year-old had made 38 appearances for Feyenoord this season, registering seven assists as he looked to force himself into the Netherlands squad for Euro 2024. That dream is over for Hartmann, however, as he's now undergone surgery on his knee injury. As a result, Chelsea will have to start looking at alternative options if they want a new left-back, which could include keeping Ian Matson at the club upon his return from a loan spell at Borussia Dortmund. The Dutchman has excelled since moving to Germany, and is now preparing to face PSG in the semi-finals of the Champions League. Pochettino rules two more Chelsea players out of Tottenham clash, Chelsea have been without several first-team stars in recent weeks, with the likes of Enzo Fernandez, Rhys James, Raheem Sterling and Ben Chilwell sidelined with injury issues. Speaking at his pre-Spurs press conference, Pochettino said he had the no good news on the injury front and confirmed Thiago Silva and Axel de Sesai would also miss the Stamford Bridge clash on Thursday night. Asked for an update on his squad, Pochettino said, no good news because we cannot recall any players from the last injury list. And we need to add two more, De Sesai and Thiago. They are not available for tomorrow. Pressed on why Chelsea have been affected by so many injuries this season, Pochettino added, I need to be honest, what I can say is we have a new process. There are things we can do better, of course. But there are many circumstances so it's difficult to explain with one word or one sentence. We have amazing medical staff who have a lot of experience in this business. We need to be better next season and improve. But I think the quality is here. This happens sometimes. Chelsea play host to Pochettino's former club Tottenham sitting ninth in the Premier League, while Spurs still have Champions League aspirations in fifth. Angie Postacogler will also be without a few key players against Chelsea, confirming on Wednesday that Timo Werner and Ben Davies will miss the remainder of the season. Tottenham, who suffered a 3-2 North London derby defeat to Arsenal on Sunday, are seven points behind fourth-placed Aston Villa ahead of the trip to Stamford Bridge, but have two games in hand over Unai Emery's side. Chelsea beat Spurs 4-1 in the reverse fixture earlier in the season and Pochettino said it was special to return to his former club, where he was managed for five years between 2014 and 2019. It was special when we played there, in the reverse fixture in November. It was my first time since leaving the club, but now it is a different time, the Argentine said, it will be emotional coming up against people who I worked with for a long period. I can't hide my emotion for the club. I think it is going to be emotional because facing a former team, where the history was good, you remember that, but I have said before, across the 90 minutes, we want to win and Tottenham are going to come here to try and win. It will be a good game. Thiago Silva received offers from three EPL clubs. Earlier this week, the 39-year-old announced that he will leave Stamford Bridge once his contract expires at the end of the season. It's understood that the Brazilian defender has already reached a verbal agreement to return to his boyhood club Fluminense this summer. However, TNT Sports Brazil report that Thiago Silva has the opportunity to remain in the Premier League for at least another season as three London-based teams have offered him a deal. However, it's claimed that Thiago Silva's preference is to return to Fluminense and that he is reluctant to play against one of Chelsea's Premier League rivals. One factor that could tempt Thiago Silva to remain in the Premier League is the fact that his wife and children are expected to remain in London. 
Regardless of his next move, the Brazilians' two sons currently play for Chelsea's academy sides, I hope they can continue their careers here at this victorious club that many players wish to be part of, Thiago Silva said when announcing his Chelsea exit this week, I think in everything I did here over the four years, I always gave my all, but, unfortunately, everything has a start, a middle and an end, that doesn't mean that this is a definitive end. I hope to leave the door open so that in the near future I can return, albeit in another role here, Thiago Silva may have already played his final game for Chelsea after he was forced off with a groin injury in the 2-2 draw against Aston Villa last Saturday. The Brazilian defender will miss Chelsea's Premier League clash against Tottenham at Stamford Bridge on Thursday evening. Antonio Conte wants Stamford Bride return. With Antonio Conte unemployed, it's never a surprise to see him linked with a Premier League return. Now what we probably didn't expect to see today is that the coach wants a return to Chelsea and has made a move for it. That's reported by CALCIOMACATO.IT, who share an exclusive story about this attempt. It's claimed that a few days ago, using an intermediary who has some excellent relationships with Chelsea, Conte offered himself to the Blues, the story does not bring any information on Chelsea's response to that offer. It's just pointed out that Conte could do what he does best at Chelsea, which is to rebuild the team with a winning mentality. They also write it's difficult to do worse than Pochettino, who stay on the job is not guaranteed, it seems clear Conte is willing to work at a club with big aspirations, as he was tempted to take charge of Juventus and AC Milan, even though it's Napoli who are the favourites to land him in Italy. The coach has been unemployed since his departure from Tottenham Hotspur in March 2023, and we shall soon see if Chelsea will at least consider his return. And that's the final content of today's video, like subscribe to support AG Chelsea TV.